Hello Hang Printer community and welcome to the first ever Hang Printer video newsletter covering April, March and February of 2021. So let's uh, try to remember what were we doing back then or what was I doing? I had just posted my first ever video demo showing the HP Mark system, the computer vision system trying to home or trying to manually feed its data into the hang printer so it would be homed and it didn't really work it was a first try but since then i've posted three more demos on youtube and in the last one i've actually managed to show the hp mark system uh, running the hang printer around and collecting auto calibration data and I've actually managed to calibrate the hang printer with those data and it works really well. The movement system just works perfectly. So I'm very happy with that. So in principle, I mean the base layer, the most technical layer of the HP Mark system works and I feel that I can go on to other tasks, which is a great because it has taken a long, long time. So uh, just to have some fun in between, I decided I wanted to, to make more videos and try to actually print something with the hang printer, which I hadn't done in a long, long time. Uh, I started printing a vase and it really turned out quite well. I made a time lapse that you can see here on YouTube or I can show you because this is a video newsletter so I can show you things in my office. Let's try. And I will try to not shake the camera too much. Okay. Okay, now it's shaking. Try to shake less. Okay. There you can see my my hang printer 4 prototype. And we can walk in here to the vase it's, it's uh, one meter tall you know standard hang printer size and uh, see if I can give you a shot of the layer lines it's really really precise it's as if it was printed on a framed machine Which is nice, it kind of validates all the work I've been doing so far. And that feels great. But there's another thing that feels less great that happened yesterday. I wanted to make this, you know, this vase is very wobbly. So I wanted to give the, the walls a bit of texture so that it would be more stiff. <laughs> I had seen that on on uh, CNC Kitchen and I was very excited yesterday morning I printed uh, uh, this uh, textured scrap here because uh, a line snapped actually the first time a line snaps in my project there it is the snapped line and I thought oh well not a big problem okay but then uh, some magic, uh, some magic smoke was released in my uh, in my workspace for the first time. I will show you. Let's see. Hope this doesn't shake too much. There is a, a red wire with some melted plastic around it. There was the smoke source and the motor has some line, the snapped line, it tangled around the motor shaft. So that was the last print of the Hang Printer 4 prototype 1. Uh, which brings us into what I will be doing going forwards. I can show you my planning. My scrum board. Ta-da! It's very well structured. I'm so structured. 
Uh, I have a goal of trying to make and print it deliverable and uh, getting there will mean doing a lot of firmware and CAD work and included in that is a lot of new safety features that I have to add because the safety of this machine really sucks it could it could have burned down my office yesterday if I hadn't been here and watched it so let's uh, let's fix that I have to fix that be before people use this machine and hurt themselves mm. and if I manage to do all that firmware work starting with repair firmware going going on to old drive firmware changing out the PCBs then I might have some time cutting new parts I will really really do most of the HP4 work building the hang printer for uh, back from scratch and I kind of look forward to doing it right okay that was all for today see you later bye bye